everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Covert Ops. So today, I think what we're going to do, we're going to re um, G some of our mechs here, um, get them into a position, I think, where I'm kind of happy with them, and then we are going to take um, this interesting contract here, um, the test drive contract. And we've captured the latest pride and joy of the Capellan Confederation, a cataphract. CTF-1X. Our scientists have been reverse engineering the monster, but now they say they need a real battle data before they they can continue. We'd like you to provide that data. We've located a wolf lance to use as a guinea pig. Take the CF, sorry, CTF-1X down to the planet and eliminate that lance. Needless to say, we don't have any, uh, uh, don't have another of these, so it's imperative that you return it intact. It's one and a half skull against clan, so I don't know what to expect. Um, so I think I want to try it. With, the, with that cataphract, I have no idea what it's got on it, but um, we'll get, we're going to try that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our mechs repaired here real quick. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Thank you. Now let's go here. We're going to get our second mech bay up and running. Is this the one here? Uh, enable second repair. We're working on 100% efficiency. Perfect. So we're going to take that one. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. You get that done. All right. So let's get our mechs back. All right, now um, let's go to the base here real quick. So I've been thinking a little bit about what we want to do here. Um, I think the adder, I don't know. Um, I'm, my idea was to throw the large laser on it that we have, the clan ER large. We might do that, and we might put the ER the uh, large pulse on it as well. I don't know yet. Um, but we got if we're going to do that, then we have to take the two LRM-15s off, and we're going to have to decide which mech is going to be the LRM-15 mech. Either that, or we could just leave the... Do we have another medium pulse? I think we do, don't we? We might want to go all pulses on this guy. There's the ER large, ER medium. Um, he's just got the two, right? He's the, he's the one with the Guardian ECM. So, I mean, we could laser AMS. This guy's really a support mech could take the jump jets off of that guy um, so the kit fox is the ultra 10 ER, ER medium ER small I think that one worked out fine it's got plenty well it's got eight turns of ammo which I think is plenty it's got the SRM 6 I may pull that off and add some more armor Incubus, well, let me see here. So the Incubus was the one we were having problems with heat on. Uh, it's a 30 tonner. It's got the large pulse, pair of ER mediums, and machine guns. I mean, we could pull the large pulse off, put the SRM-6 on it from the Kit Fox, which would probably, well, would most definitely reduce the uh, heat output. And we'd have an extra bit of tonnage to be able to add some more armor. Now the Stinger's got three uh, medium magna lasers. 22 damage, 10 heat, 330 range. Um, do not require ammo, run very hot. So, I don't know. But I want to scrap this guy. Not scrap it, but put him in storage for now. I know, we, I, know I said I didn't want to do that last episode. So if we make the Incubus, the SRM, close in to ER Mediums, SRM, machine gun boat, I probably want to put some jump jets on it, but if we're going to be upping the armor, we may not be able to do that. The Kit Fox could stay as the Ultra 10. ER, ER Medium is small with more armor. So the mislinks would have to end up being... We don't have the weight on this guy to do be an LRM boat. He's running the Guardian though. It's a tough choice here. Let's start this way. Let's pull off. Let's refit the Kit Fox. Let's pull the SRM-6 off. It wasn't really doing much in the last episode. So let's just pull this off of this guy. That gives us two and a half tons. So, um, let's attempt to max the armor here. You can get pretty close here. Wow, the legs have got like no armor on them at all. Um, 
Wow. Uh, yeah. This is my biggest fear, right? Having no armor. Oh boy. Uh, okay. I think I can live with that for now. Let's live with this. Okay, let's confirm that. And then let's have a look at the incubus. So let's pull the large pulse and let's replace it with. Uh, I kind of like how they did this here. Just got to get used to this system, how everything works here could go that route now he's got pretty good armor already pretty good armor already um, how much does a large pulse generate in heat 30 not that bad actually let's max the armor out we got a little bit of space, a little bit of uh, weight left. See now, I don't, I don't mind this guy now because now he can get in close and brawl it up with the machine guns, and I'm not so worried about it. But what I want to do is I want to put some jump jets on it. So let's confirm this. Let's get right. that going. Get let's go to the stinger real quick, and we're gonna pull the jump jets off this guy. I'm gonna leave them uh, in the lineup though. These are like half a ton each, right? Yeah, let's pull four jump jets off. Actually, let's pull them all off. We may use them on some of our other guys. The double heat sinks we can't really use. We have to leave them on this guy. So let's just do this. Let's confirm that. On it. I'll let you know when that's and we'll get this rolling. Let's get these guys done. Let's um, advance forward. Get our pilots back. Uh, let's trust Yang. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that minus two tech points. Really appreciate it. Network ordered. Okay, automation is done. Top notch work, if I may say so. Ship upgrades, training module, buy that. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Get some XP while we're sitting around on our duffs doing nothing. Uh, three days for the incubus. Okay, so now let's have a look at that again. And let's put those jump jets. So, incubus, I know we're underweight, that's fine. So we've got some jump jets here. So let's go. Let's split them up a bit. We're going to be under 0.5 tons, but that's fine. He's maxed out armor. So this guy's going to be in close fighting. Now, did we, we did pick up some other stuff. What do we pick up, though? Is there a way to see everything that we got? The large pulse we're going to be using. What do we pick up? I can't even remember what we got last episode. It's been only one day, too. Oh, yeah, LRM ammo. Right. The prototype double heatsink kit. We may end up using this on the, um, the adder. We got the engine. Basic sensors, which are no good to us. Okay, so let's confirm this. Three days to put jump jets in? Are you serious? Logged and no. Okay. Um, so the mislinks... You know what? I got an idea here. Let's refit this guy. Okay, so we got a pair of LRMs. See, we got three heat sinks in here that we have to keep in, I think. No, we only need two. See, because my thought was to go with the two LRMs. Pull the medium pulse off this guy. Right? So let's do that. Um... Let's confirm this. Right. Then we'll switch over to the mislinks. And we'll pull off the... We're not going to have the weight for that, though. Pull off the large and medium. And go with... If we go with the large and medium pulse, we could take the jump jets off. Now, can we sink this? That's the question. I think we should be able to. What's the heat sinking? Yeah, we should be fine with that. 
I don't know why. All right, uh, sorry, I'm just kind of lost track here for a second. My son needed me to help him with something for a second. Okay, so we went with the large and the medium pulse on this. Good accuracy. We've got a laser AMS and Guardian ECM. I don't like the fact that this is in the arm, though. Why would they put them in the arms? Too many weapons mounted in the center torso. Oh. Wait, you pulled it off instead? Let's put it on the side. Um... Yeah, now I think this is pretty good. Our heat sinking has gone up. Heat efficiency has gone up, which is bizarre, but it has. Um, I think we're going to go with this. This is melee accuracy. This doesn't add any weight, does it? It's just an option, right? Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's confirm this one day. All right. Now the adder is the one I'm concerned about. Don't know how we're going to do um, heat-wise here. Um, oh, we wanted to pull a narc launcher off this thing. Let me think about where that's going to go. Uh, now let's go to lasers. Let's grab the ER large, which is all we can do. Now our heat's gone way down here. These are three and a half tons each, right? The armor's not too bad on this guy. Because he's not supposed to be getting in close anyway. Right? He's a long range fighter. Any way we can get a ton off of this thing? I mean, if we go with... So minus 15% weapon heat. So what's our heat at right now? We got heat sinking 66, alpha strike 88. So let's pull these off for a second. Let's put this in. What else did we lose there? Nothing. And a pair of these guys. Problem is if we lose these, we're saving a ton. 60, 68, wow, what a difference. Which means we can now go and drop the ER medium in. And the heat's about the same as what it was. We know we don't have to fire everything, but that means the large and the LRMs can be firing from long range. And if we need to alpha with the uh, ER medium, we can do that. The other thing we could do is throw another ton of ammo in, but I don't think we really need another ton of ammo. Like we got, we have too many tons of ammo as it is, I think. We could drop a ton of ammo and add some armor. Right? Because this is 16 rounds a pop. We take out a ton of a ton of that, it's 12 rounds each. Let's pull the let's pull the ammo like that. And then we have a ton for armor, so go like that. Okay, we've got a little bit left over. Uh, we want to add some back armor, maybe CT armor probably. Go with 80 in the CT, 65 in the other two torsos. Let's go this route. The back armor is really low, but I'm thinking that it's probably better to have, like we're, it's very, very doubtful that we're going to be in close with this guy. So let's confirm this, three days. All right, let's get our stuff back and then let's try this mission. I'm afraid to do this now. <laughs> I don't want to lose any of my max. That's the problem. But we'll have to deal with it. Let's see what we got. Three days here. All right, here we go. Let's not die. Keep our head up. Keep the stick on the ice. Let's do this. Um, 4.17, I think. We just gained some uh, bonus with Wolf. Now we're going to lose it. So, Dirt Nap, let's... Wow, it's a 70-ton mech. I have no idea what it's got on it, though. Okay, so the Kit Fox was our... God, we have to remember. Ultra 10, right? 
Incubus is the enclosed brawler. The Miss Lynx was the large and medium pulse lasers. I'm wondering if we lose the Incubus for this one. Because I don't think I want to be running that close to the enemy. I think I want to try and stay a little farther back if we can. Let's switch these two around. I don't like um, switching mechs out for the guys that we have, but I think that's probably better. So Miss Lynx has got the pulses. Kit Fox has got the Ultra 10. Firepower Buckshot will be running the LRMs. Okay, let's try this. All right, here we go. Huh, that's the damn ugliest mech I've ever seen. Built like a brick shit house, though. All right, all right. There's our targets. Let's not die. Plow through them and get to the other side. All right. Hey. Hey. Um. Play it cautious till we know what we're up against here. Let's get over here. How's it going? Consider me there. I don't know how I feel about my new loadouts here. I feel better about when we than when we started for sure. Receiving you. But we'll find out soon enough. Well, yeah, moving on to turn 11 is not, uh, God, the loadout too. It's not giving me confidence here. Two AC-5s. A lot of ammo. An AC-10. That's a ton of ammo. Ten eighty armor, so, all right. All right, buddy. Copy that. Let's take some hills. I'm here. I know I've said this a thousand times in the last series, like the last series and the series I played before, but the models now just phenomenal. Like, honestly, so good. You guys, the, the Rotec team has done a fantastic job. Everybody that's been involved with uh, and the love that they've put into this game is just fantastic what they've done. Standing by. I hope everybody else appreciates it too. I'm going to do the shameless plug again. You know, if you guys are playing and stuff and you can, you can afford a little bit of coin please feel free to donate to these people because, you know, the sheer minor amounts of money that you donate is definitely worth the hours and hours of gameplay. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get up here. We still haven't got any contact blips yet, eh? Let's see if we can stay under the ECM here. What? No. I need you up ahead a little bit. Oh, you're the LRM boat, so let's not get up ahead. Let's get into here. Affirmative. Gotta remember she's not running the AC here. Alright, let's see if they can see me here. Oh, we got a blip. What do we got here? Piranha. Those look like a pretty good chance to hit. Oof. I think we took his leg. Have a seat, buddy. Another Piranha. It's nice that they, um, they've changed the, just having the, the anonymous blips to actually being able to see the mechs at distance. I think that's, that's a good change. Because we want to see what we're fighting, right? Half the fun of the game is actually being able to see what we're fighting. Okay, what else do we got here? Locust 2C, I have no idea what it's got on it. This guy's already gone, but we've got really good chances to hit, so let's 
plaster this guy and see how we do here. So we're on a cool planet. The heat's pretty high. Let's include in the flame. Let's turn that off. It seems really smooth too, like, well, except for the pan back there, but I mean, the animations are nice and smooth for combat and stuff. Okay, we're going to get the uh, AC-10 on the flank of this piranha down here, see if we can blow through his side, and then we'll use the large pulse to see if we can take the other piranha's legs. Standing by. All right, let's get you, uh, we need to stay relatively close to everybody. Let's get down into here. And let's go after this leg. Eh. Can't have everything. I got a feeling there'll be a second lance after this one. That one and a half skulls just gotta be. I mean, I could be wrong, but most likely there'll be a second lance. Receiving you. Okay, you know what to do. Moving to position. You know what to do. Let's get the ultra on this guy. Oh God, the range. It's going down. Taking a critical hit. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Okay, we're going to try and take the leg off this guy. Wow, the targeting is terrible. I was hoping that that guy would die before he would uh, get a chance to shoot again, but no such luck. The guy on the ground at the front, though, will easily be able to take care of him. Now, this prawn has probably got machine guns, so he can't use most of his weapons, which is good. I want to try and capitalize as much as I can on getting early gear, so... Small pulse, probably. They gotta have another guy here somewhere. Calculating where he's gonna move. And he's gonna stand still. Okay, so just so you guys know, I'm still running uh, the same version of Rogue Tech. Out. Which was 3.1, I think, but they're at the 3.3 already, and Battletech's asking for an update, so I don't want to update it until I find out what is going on. We've got a thunderstorm here now, so if you hear some rumbling, that's what's going on in the background. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't want to upgrade until I up upgrade Rogue Tech, that is, until I find out, out. Um, whether or not we'll be compatible with the new Battletech, so. Just going to stay with where we are. All right, so let's go after this guy's leg. Engage. Leg, please. Leg. What? No. Part of leg are you missing? Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go. This guy didn't move. Let's finish him up. Engage. Yeah, well, that guy didn't have a good day. All right, let's hammer this guy. See if we can get the leg. I'm going to leave the mediums off. I don't want to overkill this guy. Okay, leg's gone. Perfect. We can get some salvage out of that. Limpy Limperson back there. Uh, he's got a pair of mediums, I guess, eh? Looks like that's the last guy. Hey. Hey. You got the range. I think I'm liking the loadout in this one now. I mean, I'm not liking the heat, obviously. On a desert world, this will be a bad uh, mech, but... Knock him down. That looked like a critical hit. Let's do this. All right, buddy. Coordinates received. 
Let's get some closeness on them. Some closeness. See if we can finish this leg off. Come on. Yes. All primary targets have been destroyed. Oh, what is it? Standing by. That has me worried. Position confirmed. There's gonna be another lance. Let's get it in this way. Try to go through the narrow section of the woods. Sorry, I'm just gonna speed that up a bit. Yeah, there it is. Okay, incoming inbound blip coming in fast and low. They're making a drop off, eh? Receiving you. Got it. Okay, let's just get up here. We're going to engage hmm, from range just to see what they've got. If there's anything good, uh, we'll hang around. Let's get into here. Try and get some stuff if we can. I'm going to try and make sure everyone's under ECM protection here. What now? Come on, Buckshot. Wow, the speed on this adder. Nice. Okay, you're ECM protected. You're ECM protected, and you're ECM protected. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, what about you? I think you're out of, no, you're not out of range. Okay, good. Here they come. Lyran Marksons, eh? What does that look like to you? Urban Mac. Um, yeah, I don't know. Bunch of lights, maybe? Good to go. Hmm. Huh. I think we should be able to handle these guys. I think the cataphract could have come down here probably by itself and handled them, but... Okay, let's get up here. I leave that flamer off. I wish I could take that thing off this mech. I should really try and see if we can do it. I know the last, uh... The last version we couldn't. Alright, um... Oh, they were up here, right? Moving to position. You know what? <sighs> Do we want to? I don't think we want to um, clog the loot table with non-clan stuff. I think we bail now. But when have I ever bailed from a fight like this? Right. Commander. Oh, you got the ECM. Let's get down into here. Move order received. Are they actually moving in? Let's go get them. Don't know if they're actually moving in or not. Receiving you. Copy that. Got no bleeps. No sweeps. And no creeps. Still nothing. 
They must just be standing there. Yes, I'm there. There we go. Wolf found a wasp urban mech. It's the missile mech. I'm here. There. Okay. Sure, why not? Alright, it's firing this guy. See what we can get on this guy now. Yeah, sure. On it. Well, I got the medium on him anyway. Full throttle. Come under ECM. Yep, nice. Fire on the turd beat. We'll get a chance to hit on this thing. Coming into range. God, really? It's an urban mech. Finish him up. He hasn't even moved, guys. Yes, boss. Shoot the turd bee, please. Roger that. Target confirmed. Oh yeah. Just like in that pulse hey. laser. There we go. Some direct fire. Hey. Get under that ECM. Yeah, let's go with everything. Okay, finally starting to get some good hits. Maybe things are looking up. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Let's stay in the woods and minimize damage. It's not like they're going to do anything. Um, Alright, this guy's back up and running. 22%. Guess I can't hit anybody else. Or can I? Yeah, we'll found 22. That's oh, the same. Urban Mac firing. Wow. Pretty sure it's a rocket launcher. Don't know if he's got a rifle or if he's got R sixty eight. Don't know. Commander. Confirm. Okay. Good shots on this guy. 268 armor. Let's go on this guy. Ooh, groin shot. What now? That's just not nice. Advancing, I guess. Some groin shots just aren't nice. Wow, terrible. Why is it so bad in the urban mech? Well, let's shoot this guy. Okay. Didn't expect that. Have a seat, buddy. Ready for orders. Um Let's get a little closer with air to extra dry. Twenty percent, fifty percent with the Ultra Ten. Yeah, let's go on this guy. Oh, yeah! Enjoy that, buddy. Critical hit. I think you're out of weapons, is what I think.
Pilot Health, one of three. So those two guys are no longer threats. It's this Wolfhound we're going to target. I'm going to target it with the Cataphract. Hopefully he'll fire on the Cataphract. Minimize my damages here. Oh. Get to a point where I won't hit my own guy when I'm firing. And let's unload on this guy. Wow. Dirt naps, time to retire, buddy. You should be running. This cataphract would be actually not bad if it out outfitted with clan weapons. Pair of Ultra 5s and Ultra 10. Some medium pulses. Yes, Commander. On the move. Okay, once again, let's try and maximize salvage. Oh, it's a side shot. Uh, let's fire on this guy. Try and claim this leg. Come on. There it is. Nicely done. Oh, I got a head hit too. Standing by. Let's get this Ultra 10 in close. Go on the Wolfhound. Got I think we'll be okay here. Famous last words. And fire on this guy. We get the arm? Yeah, we got the arm. Large laser destroyed. Critical damage detected. Hey. Hey. Just pummel that turdby. See if we can remove him from the game here. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not missing that extra ammo. Well, he knew he should be running. That's what he's doing. Got it. Oh, the AC-10's down. Oh, well. Just shoot on his back. What the heck? I'm here. Running a little hot. Oh, yeah, but our, our counter's gone up because of the, uh, the heat sinking. Oh, my God, that stuff's brilliant. I hope you Oh. Nicely done. I got it. You did. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by thirty-five percent. We actually made money this time, guys. Uh, it's a good thing. Uh, we, yeah, Ilya Muramis didn't really take any damage. We took a minor, couple of minor hits, but that's about it, I think. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember it's up here now. All right, let's see what we got for uh, for stuffs. Got four things we can take. I want to go down and grab some gear. Um, ER mediums, ER smalls, flamers, heavy machine guns, medium pulse laser, but it's inner sphere. 300 meter range. That's a good possibility still, though. Um, laser diverse optics, heat 11, damage 15. That's a small laser, 250 meters. Eh. End of steel. We've got Clan Endo Steel, so I don't know if we really need it. I mean, we could sell it. It's like 1.7 mil. XL engines. Ah, really, man? Gyro XL, which we really can't use. Tons of heat sinks. Clan double heat sinks. Patchwork materials. I noticed they lowered the, the weight the patchwork materials actually give us. Uh, let's take this because we can add some armor on somebody. Uh, let's take the double heat sink as a backup because we're bound to lose one at some point. Now, as much as I want to take the XL engines for money, I mean, they're what? How much are they worth again? We're getting 13% of this, so 4.8 million. It says, well, that's what we value of our salvage. Sorry, 4.5 million. 13% of that is what? What was what were we getting for these? 
130 times 4, 6, 500, 580,000, something like that, somewhere around there. 550, 580,000. So this would be a million sea bills. We could actually buy some weapons with that if there's any in the store. Other than that, it's the ER mediums, which I don't really think we need at the moment. Heavies, machine guns, eh. Yeah, you know, let's see what we can buy in the store. Oh yeah, there was that uh, cockpit we wanted to buy that gave us plus one piloting. Or was it plus one gunnery? I think it was plus one gunnery. So I think we can do this. We'll sell it and get the plus one gunnery. So let's confirm this. So we got one, two, three, four piranha parts. Ooh, we almost got a piranha out of that. Urban mech, two wolf found parts, small laser, basic cockpit. We got some endosteel, good, another seat, another uh, core, and the heatsink kit. So we made out really, really well on this. All right. A few more things change in hands. Yeah, almost no damage, which is awesome. The less damage we take, the better. Okay, let's sell some stuff in the store here real quick. Don't have to worry about how much Wolf is going to actually like us. AP Goss Rifles here. So let's sell some stuff here. So let's go get rid of this. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to hang on to it just in case we need it as a backup. This, this, these we can sell. Let's sell them both. Uh, let's get rid of this core. Let's hang on to that one for now. We're going to sell these guys. Yeah, 1.8. Or sorry, fi uh, 585,000. Got four double heat sinks. Oh wait, right, we took those off. I forgot we took those off. Damn it, that was stupid of me. Basic sensors can go. LRM ammo, NARC beacon ammo. We're gonna keep that. All right, I think we'll keep what we have here. Let's go into buying. Now we have to be careful because it's gonna be, that's gonna start adding up. Um, another LRM clan. We have to decide what we wanna keep and get rid of. So there's gunnery support B. Plus one to, uh, to gunnery allows exceeding of minimum maximum skill level, which is awesome. Um, so let's take this New equipment and a clan heat bank. We want to buy that, or we want to wait and see if we can get one. If we can get this into the adder, it would be good. But you know what? I think we wait. A million's a bit steep right now. We're going to hold on to that, what we have. AP Goss Rifle, Damage 8, Heat 7. Wow. 50% chance to crit hit. Uh, recoil of 1. Barrage of 5 small projectiles. So it's five times eight. Is it a single shot weapon though? I don't think it's a single shot. I think it's got a fixed amount of rounds if I'm if I remember correctly. Fixed capacity of five rounds. Still though, that's pretty darn good. Maybe we replace a couple of machine guns on that, on our, uh, the Incubus. Is it the Incubus that's got the machine guns? Miss Links, one of the two? I'll know them, I'll get the, I'll figure it out sooner or later. It's five shots, but I mean, we don't fire the machine guns all that much, and this is a lot better for damage. Let's buy that. New weapon systems available. Okay, let's go to the bays real quick here. Okay, so was it the Incubus that had the machine guns? It was, so let's refit them. And I think, um, we wanna just, we have a little bit of weight because we, yeah, we put the armor on. So how much machine, oh, why is this half ton? I'm gonna put it in the leg because I don't want it in the center torso anymore. Uh, I'll take off a pair of machine guns and we don't have ballistic in the arm, so we'll have to torso weapon it, I guess. Um, what were, under Goss? Yeah, here we go. And let's drop it in, I guess, this torso. 
Now we're over slightly. How much? What's the weight on this? One? What are these worth? Oh, 0.3. Well, we can drop our armor slightly, I think. Something like that, I guess. But that's going to give us a nice... This is this mech's going to have, for 20, uh, 25 tons, it's going to have a nice little punch. Punch up close. Sorry, 30 tons. So let's confirm that. That's pretty good, I think. I'm interested to see how it's going to play out in battle here. So now let's go to the outer sea. Refit. So we've got um, the patchwork materials, which I think we can add in here. The gunnery support, uh, this goes to support B. Um, does it go in here? Oh, it does, down here. Okay. So we're going to drop that in there. So we got a little bit of weight left over. So let's go ahead and add some more armor because we were really skittish about the amount of armor on this guy here. Um, let's do that. A couple more here. Oh yeah, we got a bit more to go. That. Let's bring the legs up to 70 as well. One left. Um, let's take one off here and put one more on each of the torsos. Can we do it? We can't do it. Ah, oh, man. No, I think we don't want to do that. I think we want to... Let's go that route. We want to protect this CT because of the radical PDHS that we want to keep. Heck, we can't pull this off, can we? now? Well, no big deal, I guess. So we're going to go that right route. I think that's going to help out a little bit. Getting that little bit of extra armor on there, protecting the legs and the torsos. Good idea, I think. So let's confirm that. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Sorry it was so short, but um, I'm going to have to keep them short for the next little while. Still really, really busy, and I don't have a lot of time at night, so i got to be able to edit this and get it posted for tomorrow. So I'm going to end the episode here. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.